What's going on guys? It's your Huggable Hipster here and welcome to a casual nerd episode that I am very excited about. Also very trepidatious about, but I am also very, very, very excited about this casual nerd episode. I don't think I've made a dedicated Silent Hill video in a hot minute and I was actually really, really excited. Um, someone who I knew on Twitter, you guys may know him by Aesthetic Gamer, aka Dusk Gollum. He is a, I don't like using the term leaker, but we're going to go with leaker. He's one of the good ones out there. And he's made two tweets that were in a thread and they are discussing about a potential new Silent Hill game that is going to be coming out. There's already rumors that are going about right now of Konami redoing the first three Silent Hill games. I'm not sure how credible that information is. Um, I don't like rumors. <laughs> I've said that many a time before on this channel. I don't like rumors. I like to see proof in the pudding. I like to wait until I see something from the game company that's like, hey, we're doing this, we're doing a remake, we're doing a reboot, we're doing a remaster. Anything along those lines, I want to be able to wait and see from the company what's going to happen. But Aesthetic Gamer is known to be quite accurate with a lot of his predictions that he has made, especially with Resident Evil. So that's why I take him a lot more seriously than I do a lot of other leakers, because his information is actually backed up. Now, it's interesting to me because Konami was responsible for taking these images down. So he had to post them on Reddit instead, which I find wild to me because if Konami is taking these images down and they were claimed by the copyright owner, then I'm more likely to believe it because there is more merit. Like it just adds more to the merit of what's happening right now. Like I already trust Aesthetic Gamer with his information. This just adds more layers on top of it that I trust even more. So if Konami is taking them down, oh my God you guys, we might actually be getting a new Silent Hill game. Now, the tweets are going to be right over here. Um, I asked his permission before sharing them, even though it's on an open forum like Twitter. I like to ask for permission first, just in case, because I don't know. Like, the thing is, is that I, I'd rather be safe than sorry kind of thing. So it states here in his tweet that he did Silent Hill leak. There's a lot I'm not sharing for now. This is from a relatively new source for me, but I've been given more than enough proof to believe them. I also will mention the names Anita and Maya. Maya? 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 Maya. SMS messages, and this is not the only Silent Hill game in development. The shots, which you guys can see here, it looks interesting. Kind of reminds me of um, the PT Silent Hills, one that was released with the woman at the end of the hallway. It kind of reminds me of that. Um, and just the, uh, the trash situation of the first picture heavily reminds me of Resident Evil 7 putting that out there. You guys remember that kitchen scene? Where everything was just a hot mess. It reminds me of that. And he continues in saying that are a bit dated 2020, so maybe this project looks a bit different now, but when I'm choosing to share, I know many will doubt this, but I have a lot of private proof to show this is real as always. I continue to wait on the Silent Hill game reveal. So there's, there's a lot to go off of on this. There's, I mean, I think this is the first time where I actually genuinely felt like it could be a possibility that there is a revival happening in the series. Now, now, the thing is, I'm not gonna lie, I am a major Silent Hill fan, okay? I am a major one. I have not played the first one. Don't come at me. I have not played the first Silent Hill game. But what I will say is that this series holds a lot of love, a lot of memories for people. And the one thing that I think holds this series so close to how it resonates for people is the way that it made them feel emotionally, whether that be from jump scares or actual terror that they felt because of this game, there are a lot of things that made this series very impactful within the gaming community and for gamers. Do I think it would be a good thing that there will be remakes and reboots and new additions to the series? Yeah, I think that's awesome. I think that's really cool that that could potentially be happening. But sometimes, and I'm going to go on the flip side with this because a counter argument is always needed, sometimes it's best to let a series rest in peace. Because sometimes the game that was originally made is going to always be better than the remake. Look at what happened with Resident Evil 3 Remake, oy vey. Now, while I loved the remake and while I thought that there were really great qualities about it, it didn't hold up as much as the original did. The original had all these different puzzles in the police station and it had an ending of where you met Barry again. And I thought that that was absolutely iconic. And 
they didn't put any of that into the remake of the third game. They left it as just one solid ending, and that's it. And I thought that was such a mistake on Capcom's part. The thing with the Silent Hill games is that they are a treasure trove of memories, like I said, and they're always going to resonate with people for different reasons. If, <laughs> if these game companies who are creating remakes and reboots of the series mess this up in any way, that's it. It's going to be kind of a permanent stain on the gaming community that, well, this could have just been left alone. We could have left well enough alone, but we decided to go in and ruin a good thing. The way we see a movie done for Silent Hill is kind of the same way we can see a, a game being rebooted or a remake happening or even a continuation of the story. I'm not even sure how they would continue the story at this point. There's been so many Silent Hill games, I believe eight of them, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, um, but I, I believe there has been eight installments and all of them, they all have the same concepts that revolve around them of the people who are involved in Silent Hill, who go to Silent Hill, have a sordid past, they have something going, there's something wrong up here that's happening right now of where all of their greatest fears and all of their greatest uh, missteps in life, you know, they, they, they come through kind of just in such a negative way. The way James Sunderland experienced Pyramid Head. He experienced that because that was his own personal nightmare of him as a human being. You know, we see the that scene with the uh, the mannequin and pyramid head because that was that was James basically <laughs> in the game. So there's a lot of psychological things that are going on with the game. We see in Homecoming, Alex in one of the endings becoming his own pyramid head, the, basically the worst version of himself possible. So there's so much that theme-wise, story-wise, would need to be incorporated into a new Silent Hill game for it to be continuous and for it to have merit and sub just some sort of uh, substance within the community. Because Silent Hill, Resident Evil, even now The Evil Within and Outlast, these are all classic games. And I feel like any deviation from the story, any deviation from what we know and how we are used to it, it's like, whoa, what's happening right now? Now, I will admit, change is sometimes a good thing whenever you're going into a new game or a new plotline or a new sequence, but it has to flow so well with the original titles. It needs to hold up its own so well, and it rarely happens. It can happen, and it does happen, but it's very rare. But yeah, if there is a new Silent Hill game that is coming out, I'm eager, I'm nervous, I'm scared, I, my, my stomach is rumblies and all that stuff, it's doing the gers. But you guys, if you all like this episode of The Casual Nerd and you all like my face and what I do, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell down below because I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also, sorry for the lateness today. There's been a storm that's going on outside and I don't want my computer to go, you know, kaput and the power to go out. So hopefully you guys are enjoying yourselves, not being rained on too much and having you know, just wonderful wonderful day but you guys stay casually nerdy and i'll see you all in the next video bye you guys